What's up StarCraft fans, today we're doing the tier list for Battle Hard and the Chain of Ascension. So we'll have uh, yeah, Chain of Ascension where we have to push Jinara and the fight to the other side of the map. The mutators are Hardened Will, so it's basically the Wings of Liberty Hardened Shields that reduce all incoming damage to a max of 10 to hybrids. We'll have Inspiration where the hybrids will buff their non-hybrid counterparts. Actually, yeah, I think everyone just, yeah, the hybrid just buffs everyone. And the uh, Missile Command. Missiles will fly from the edges of the edges of the map into our buildings, and they deal damage, but we can shoot them down. So with me are Tutu and Sticksbender. How are you guys today? Great. Good. Good. Good? That's awesome. Uh, and yeah, Inspiration, Hybrid will buff each other. Yeah, Hybrid will, will, will buff each other. Uh, uh, anyway, so we're going to do uh, the tier list. First, we will uh, ride the commanders. From S tier to F tier, S being the highest tier who can uh, basically do this map with ease, maybe even solo with ease, uh, uh, whatever so with whatever you solo you can manage if you're playing as a single commander. But yeah, F tier is for people who cannot do this without a lot a lot of help, or you need to have a lot of effort just to do this. Uh, yes. Yeah. And everyone we else are, will fit this team. week. We are technically in the realm of mutations that every commander can solo if you really know what you're doing. But it's ba but some of them it's really 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 hard. Yeah, you can solo it assuming you have complete control of your ally. <laughs> yeah, Ofi officially they don't need help. Yeah, but they just need your ally to stand they there. They do. <laughs> All right, so I, let's uh, yeah. let's begin. So Abathur, why do we start with Sticksbender? What do you uh, what are, what do you think about Abathur? So I think that the way we would do Abathur is right. There's the two ways to approach this mutation: you either clear the map really fast, or you defend against the missiles and do it methodically. I think that Abathur can do both, but the easy way is to defend with just a big blob of swarm hosts around your buildings. Interesting. I didn't think of that. What I did for Abathur is just to walk walk, walk around with six. We did that, right? It was our video. I just walked around with six units and some spores all around my base, and we didn't we didn't need anything else. I didn't think you were. I thought you were someone else. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. All anyway. I remember is in our video, I didn't shoot up. You did all the shooting up. Oh wait, yeah, that was a Tychus video. Oh, that, yeah, uh, that was with I, someone I, else. I, I was, that was yeah, the Hockerberger. That's what we did with the Hawker Burger. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I was for soon. I only made Dark Templar. I did not shoot up. Right. Anyway, uh, how about you, Tutu? How about Abatha? Six Thunder didn't actually give a rank. Yeah. I uh, have I, no idea how I'd rank him. I put him in B. I would put him in My, B as well. Like, he's really good. The reason, the reason is that even if you don't do Toxic Nest Leering, by the time you need the Brutalisks, you should have some. And those stop the nuclear missiles wherever they are. That's so you can true. deep tunnel right next to them, and they'll just they'll just kill the the nuke. Yeah. And then you can use three leviathans to push the middle with swarm hosts if you have them, or just whatever the rest of your army is. And Abathur floats minerals, so you just dump a lot of evolution chambers or spores, spores. all around. That's what I did. Anyway, yeah, I agree uh, with B tier. Yeah. I don't think I don't okay. think he's quite A, because there are still ways to mess up this Abathur. Like if you get a, if you get Terran, for example. Uh, there are comps that where it's difficult to get biomass, and uh, yeah, some some hard hitting stuff. Not but anyway. necessarily easy, but it's straightforward. B is fine. Okay, Alak. Oh, can I say something? Yeah. Interesting. I learned. So I found out that if you uh, if a nuke is targeting a spore, you can uproot it, run away, and it'll run faster than the, sp the nuke. So you can run away <laughs> to an empty place before it blows up. I I need to do that now. Well, for, you realize that, you, can, you can just kite the nuke over an infinite amount of spore crawlers until it gets shot down. Yeah, because you can walk the the spore crawler up, root it around until the nuke explodes on an empty area or something. If you know which one it's targeting. You realize I have to do that now, right? I have to make a video of that now. Now that you've mentioned. Well, <laughs> all right. That's hilarious. All right. Anyway, uh, how about Arak? I got a less fun fact about Alarak. Yeah. Uh, Alarak's self-healing will get blocked by point defense drones from the missiles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's annoying. Which makes no sense whatsoever, but okay. Anyway, Tutu. Uh, Tutu, how about Alarak? Uh, Alarak, I put him in uh, C. C, yeah. Put him in C because the mothership mm -hmm. makes the destroy. It has to be P3, that's one. Okay, and yeah. uh, 
you you just patrol destroyers around your bases and you use like the mothership and Alarak and army to do everything else. And Empower Me mm -hmm. will kill everything. I That's agree. True. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So the way the he way has, we are he has the tools, it's just not easy. The way we the way we uh will do this is because is that you we will assume that you have some ability to use control groups. That's one, that's one of the assumptions. And that we recognize that the difficulty with needing control groups is that yes, you can use control groups, but there will be points in the game where you will instinctively press F2 because you're used to it, and it'll draw out all your uh, all your anti-missile defenses that are units. But we also recognize that it's kind of easy to just set those guys back and and, and let them guard without mm -hmm. having too much consequence, because it's not a uh, it's not a very punishing mutator. Like for example, Poopagators, where one mistake is death. Mm -hmm. This one you have a bit more leeway. Mm -hmm. That's why, yeah. I, I well, so why not? If Alarak has all that defense, why not put him higher? What is he not quite as well, easy as Abathur? Abathur, Abathur does it easier. Also, Abathur kind of gets around. Like you were talking about F two thing, Abathur's swarm hosts. If he uses his swarm Burrow. hosts to defend, they are burrowed. So true. it doesn't matter if you use F two; they can't leave. That's true. Yeah. So Abathur has it a bit easier. That's why he's B and Alarak is A. Okay, how about also, our... oh, oh yeah, for Alarak, the splitter missiles, they hurt the destroyers a lot. So uh, it's, you, uh, like... it's a critical mass thing. If you have enough destroyers, yeah. uh, they will shoot down the splitter. Like So the splitters, technically the splitters, when they die, they create two smaller missiles, and those two smaller units will rush at your unit at a blindingly fast speed. But those can also technically be shot down. Like Projectile weapons can basically never shoot those down, but anything hit scan can shoot those down, and destroyers are hit scan. That's interesting. Anyway. See, like this mutator is literally designed to say, if you don't have hit scan, there are eighteen different reasons that missiles will make you suffer without hit scan. All right, it's how about Arcturus? Mutator. How about Arcturus? Arcturus is getting too him. many S tiers, but I kind of feel like, um, well, you, you just troopers solve literally all the mutators. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> how about you, two two? Uh, A. A. Okay. A. A. A is fair yeah, just I, because um unlike the ones i have for s tier minx if you don't put enough troopers in you can still be in some trouble and if you don't spread your bunkers well enough you might also be in some trouble oh by the way going back yeah. a little bit uh do we assume uh, would, would alarak's rank d differ drastically if he didn't have the third prestige absolutely he would be down in d or e okay probably. yeah closer to e so than d. for alarak we're assuming the third prestige or C rank. Or else, if you don't have, or else yeah. you suffer. Yeah, if you don't have the third prestige, uh, this Alarak ranking should be like one or two tiers lower. There we go. Yeah. For Arcturus, we do, assume, do we assume third prestige or even yeah. no prestige? Third you don't prestige. have to. Any prestige, but literally any prestige. Any prestige is fine, but uh, three is okay. Three but is okay. yeah, you can use any. You use any. Third so, prestige is always the most, like, the easiest it's just it's, it's easy, almost yeah. all, that's almost always the easiest with manx it's like almost a, ma a mod battle at that point so like, it's like manx gets manx I, i'm repeating myself every week here but manx basically is the same thing every week any prestige works the third one makes it the easiest but literally all the prestiges have access to all the tools that he needs to solve this mutation so it doesn't really matter yeah all right i agree uh, I was initially thinking of Arcturus in S tier, but again, uh, it probably has to be anonym, uh, anonymous, uh, unanimous for us to yeah, uh, put someone in S. Yeah, honestly, I, I agree with the whole S tier. Like, there, there are some other commanders. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna have too many people who All are right. nominated. So, for how S -tier about here again? How about our tens? Uh, e, maybe F. E, maybe F. Why? I put him in E. E. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that uh, he has any anything special for this game. Like. The the mutators are easy enough that our task can handle it, but compared to what not the rest exactly. of the commanders, well, not drag, exactly. Dragoons are pretty good. Like they you can really struggle it. to keep it with is, an ally. It is, oh, yeah, with an ally, but it is hard to keep up with those missiles. And if you don't have your ally helping with base defense, your base is going to either you're going to yep. win very very fast because your ally is like uh, into speed clearing, or your base is going to be destroyed. Anyway, I agree with our times being E tier. It's just that uh, he the mutator the mutation is easy enough that even someone like Artanis would be decent as long as you have you provide some value to your ally 
Like for example, Kirby oh yeah. Also, also, if you use P three or if you use P three or Tanis, your archons that archons. you call from the sky do like damage. a tiny fraction of the damage they're supposed to do because their orbs get shot down by point defense drones. That's sad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Yeah. Oh so, well. So, uh, sorry, those archons—they're actually quite terrible. Feels bad, man. Oh well. They're just—they're just standard archons. Instead How about of, you know death machines? Wait. How about Mister Dark? Uh, oh wait. Sorry. So, oh, uh, for Artanis. Yeah. Uh, well, for this whole mutation, the main factor to consider is how well the commander does against missile command. The hybrids mm -hmm. are secondary. Artanis mm -hmm. is good against the hybrids because he just solar bombardments everything and they die. So he at least has that. But uh, the only way like he can stop the nukes really is to use uh, psi storms on mm -hmm. the PDDs. That's and sad. that's about it. So oh, no, you if storm you the don't nuke, do you storm well. the nuke itself, the nuke has 100 hit points. That's only two storms. Yeah. You could storm the nuke or storm what, whatever you need to storm, though. And if you miss the timing. The point defense drones, technically. Well, anyway. But yeah, um, so he's not that good. Yeah, we, we, we're we're all good. unanimous about E. So how about the Haka? J Haka at the highest. A? Also, D, also E. D, also D, e? D Haka at the highest. Interesting. Yeah, he, he to Haka is really bad e? against missiles. D or E? D at the, the highest. E is probably more accurate. See, Dehaka against e. missiles is... Put him in E? Like, Dehaka struggles to just get something that can... And he, he struggles to survive missiles alone. In, That's if, true. If you, try to, if you try to solo with Dehaka against just missile command and no other mutators, it's still a struggle to survive. Yeah. So... Haka against missile command, no mutators, and no attack waves on solo. It's hard to survive. Yeah. So how how the Haka <laughs> games will most are likely so go? Missiles so brutal. How how the Haka games will most likely go is that uh, your ally will put defenses around for you or heal your stuff, but uh, your primary your primary concern is pushing the map, which any commander can do. That's why he's in what D or E? What do you, what do you say, guys? D or E? E, honestly, let's e? be honest. All right. E. How about Phoenix? Missiles well, too much. Oh. I, I didn't. So, uh, for Dehaka, he struggles early because you have to make your Primal Warden stand up to shoot the early missiles. Mm -hmm. Then you're still going to get hurt. You're going to lose an extractor at some point. Yikes. And you basically struggle until you get Creeper Host. And that's the only thing you can do. You can only make Creeper Host to stop the missiles. And you're still gonna lose buildings. That's pain. So one thing mm -hmm. people should know is that the uh, primal worms and greater primal worms, you can use the the ability, the Q ability, to shoot nukes. Mm -hmm. That's nice. They, they that go, goes they bypass the PDDs. And yeah, on chain of ascension, you have a lot of vision. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of empty space, so that's, that's what you need to stop the nukes. Mm -hmm. All right. So how about? But Phoenix? I put him in E. Put him in e. All right. How about Phoenix? Carriers are point defense, or carriers are uh, hit scans, so that's uh, the biggest thing going for Phoenix. Your missile defense is carriers. Carriers. Yes. Which is very expensive. Uh, probably C. C. He's in a similar. He's in a similar boat to Alarak, I think. How about you, Tutu? I put him in D. E. Uh, D, but I can see why he would be C. Like it's kind of similar. Uh, I did P two with. Carriers defense and then just push with Caldalis and the other ones. Clorian doesn't die. Clorian doesn't die. Clorian doesn't really mm -hmm. die. So, okay, so yeah. the reason why he's in D is because his carriers can shoot down the missiles better than Artanis and the Haka, but not quite as good as destroyers and not quite as early as destroyers. Honestly, I think that part of the problem is if you were using P2 carriers, that would have definitely made it harder to hold off the missiles. I, I would have just gone. P2 is cheaper though. Maybe P1. No, but, but they're P3. cheaper. Cheaper. P2's well, yeah, they're cheaper. They're cheaper. Yeah, they're cheaper. But you get them they, faster. You need, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yes, yes, they're half the cost, but because, uh, because of, you know, it feels like you end up needing three times as much for some reason. I'm not sure why it ends up being that way, but it's like they they end up really doing a lot worse. 
you, you don't need that much firepower because the they're missiles don't missiles. have that much life. Yeah, they're just missiles. Yeah, I know. You push and with Kaldi. You has a lot of pushing power. You push with Kaldi yeah. and defend with carriers. Yeah. I think that's enough. Honestly, I think that's I enough. I mean, I would, I, would just, I would just push early with heroes, and then later I would just push with carriers while having a few carriers at home, so I would just go P3. But, eh. Either way is fine. Um... Uh, I I assume that cares. I assume that the 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 ranking for for Phoenix wouldn't drastically change without prestige. Not drastically. Not drastically. Uh, Not really. P one makes your life a little more difficult because it's nice to be able to just call down the dragoon to kill nukes. Mm -hmm. And if you use P one, then that actually is a pretty significant cost as opposed to the other prestiges where it's just like yeah, I just call down the dragoon and then I switch back to another suit as soon as the nuke is dead. Uh, the dragoon, it's uh the dragoon's anti air spell one shots the nuke. Okay, how about the only reason the nuke doesn't die is you missed? Yeah, how about uh Han and Horner? C. C. Really? I think I think That's... it's because you can just how? repair you can just repair your buildings. <laughs> <laughs> you have to shoot that so... shields, shields shields are better than repair. Uh so right. C. See, yeah. the carriers do a lot and when nukes come you make your reapers fly. Then you just shoot everything from your base. You can use your call downs on the hybrids. You don't even have to touch them. If they have flying units, you just go in with like a battle cruiser or two or something after the small stuff is gone. That's interesting. So, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming you didn't get the Amato upgrade on your battle cruisers. Doesn't matter. Uh, I think yeah, I got you, it. If, you, but if you're firing dude, the Amato, like, point defense drones become a pain. <laughs> yeah, but I don't factor that. Just because mm. there's not always a, drone, a PDD around. That's not what I always, said. But when yeah, there not is, always. Uh, anyways, yeah. So, um, so you, you, if I, if I, I get this clearly, no, I, if I, if I understand this correctly, you're just using like the airstrikes, the precision strikes to actually deal damage, and your reapers yeah. are actually defenses. That's an yes. interesting take on Han and Horner. I, I actually that. have, yeah, that really I found that an intuitive take on Han and Horner. But uh, anyways. I have absolutely no idea how you can consider Han and Horner easier than Phoenix. Mm. That's that's call downs are stronger. What call downs? Call downs are much stronger, right? And because you're all call downs, so you lose I, nothing. And I still think that repair is oh, really good. I, okay, <laughs> repair is also good. Repair is also good. I would I would consider like okay. repair to be cheaper than building static defenses. On there this, is also on this the mutation. fact that missile turrets missile turrets have. Uh, I believe they have two attacks instead of one, and more importantly, a higher attack speed than photon cannons. So it's uh -huh. like, and they're cheaper. Like in every way, a missile turret is That's like awesome. considerably better than a cannon for shooting down missiles. Like it's All right. not even close. How about Mr. Karax? How about you, Tutu? Where do you put Karax? S, S, S tier. That was yeah. that's not right. Because he re repairs himself. I, yeah. You can use static D, yeah, the monolith. You can use solar the orbital strike to kill the nukes if necessary. You have a purifier beam against the hybrid. The golden shower. <laughs> so, so any prestige will work here, right? Anyone. I use P two no cannons and I still can beat it with no problem. So So you need you just you, you just need a prestige. Doesn't matter which prestige, but just any prestige. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Work. Yeah, Either any prestige anything, would still be yes. asked. So for Karax, you basically want any prestige, but yeah, uh, no per no prestige Karax kind of feels bad at uh, some points. But with any prestige, that will really bring out something that he has to counter the mutation. But yeah, uh, okay. are we unanimous on S for Karax? S. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay, how about Car Carrigan? What do we say? How about you, Sixbender? Well, uh, she's probably a tier lower if you use P3 since Kinetic Blast gets blocked by the point defense drones because, I don't know, maybe it's just me who ends up with, like, literally there is always a point defense drone over my army, but there is literally always a point defense drone over my army. If That's a bad RNG, man. man. Even th that, that, that doesn't happen to even me. And I have bad yeah, RNG. Well, eh, well, remember, remember, we played, we played our game together, and like suddenly you were like, "Oh yeah, I see what you're talking about. The missiles are always <laughs> over the hybrid, giving them hardened will." Because I have bad RNG aura. That apparently. that literally only happened in our game. Watch the other, watch the other videos I have. It, it never mm -hmm. happened. All those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the one game where I'm there, suddenly the RNG is just like suffer. Well, uh, that being said, where do you put Kerrigan? 
Mm. Probably B. All right. B how about you two? B. B. I, B. B. I put her in D. D. Why is pretty, that? Pretty bad, but so. Unless you're on top of your micro, the nukes are going to kill you. So you have to, like, Omega Worm to the nuke and stop it every time it shows up. Static well, D alone is not going to handle it. That is Unless you have... That's literally less effort than Han and Horner, because Han and Horner have to have Reapers preemptively in position I... and then manually tell them to fly. What I would do for No, you, just cut, you, you press F2, you control click the Reaper, and you press F, and then the nukes die. What I would do for Kevin, the Reapers are already in the right spot. No, you just leave them there. You don't even patrol them. You don't do anything. You just and build them and leave is, them hanging this around. Is somehow easier than getting in a worm. How about how about this, guys? How about this? What I would do for Kerrigan is like use all my minerals for spores and all my gas for Omega Worms, and so mm, I will just have the power of spreading out everything. I would just spam Omega Worms everywhere. So that the missiles are all distributed across all those worms, and that so there's a less chance that the missiles will hit something important. And then mm. even then, I have I have spore crawlers just spread out everywhere as well to also spread out the damage and as well as shoot down other ones. And also, Kerrigan is strong enough to hero solo. Yeah, P two Kerrigan is B tier. Any other prestige would be. I I player. actually yeah I actually agree with Stick Spender here. I think Kerrigan's B tier just because you can do that hero solo. Plus, spam distracting Omega Worms everywhere. She might not get kills. Yes, worm. She might not get kills on those missiles, but she'll do well to survive. With just Kerrigan Hero Solo and just spreading your uh, Omega Worms worm. and, and Spore Crawlers everywhere. Uh, but, does that, that, is just, that is the Kerrigan counter to literally everything is Worms. Does that sway there you, Tutu? Or do you think that's still bad enough to be D tier? Well... I don't, I don't think it's, it's, yeah, it's doable, but like, I just think the fact that if you don't spam, if you don't keep up with all that, you're going to lose your stuff. You're going to lose your buildings mm. at well, your base. You're going to lose your hatchery or something. Well, think about this. You don't have to macro units anymore. You don't have to macro overlords. All you have to macro are worms. So if like you just substitute the macro cycle for like, yeah, units, upgrades, workers and uh, injects if you do that and just put worms worms and more worms and you don't I mean, macro yeah, worms you pretty can easy just, you, you can, can use rapid fire your, you can put your hatchery rally point on the nearest worm and just spam hydralisks and then when you need an army you just click on any worm and then summon army button how about this we compromise put her in c tier for now but uh okay. she'll be the highest t tier and if no one else changes we'll put her we'll put, we'll put her back in b, in b tier I think I think she's actually good enough to be on B tier, but since Tutu disagrees, I'll, I'll compromise and we'll put her on the top of C tier for now. How about Nova? How about you, uh, Stick Spender? How about Nova? Marines are bad. Marines. Nova's Marines are terrible. Bad. Oh gosh, they're so terrible. I'm sorry, having to play Nova against a solo against Missile Command really just made me have a absolute hatred of her Marines and all their many inadequacies. So repair. Uh, anyways, no, no. the The problem is that the marines themselves get massacred by the splitter missiles. So don't make marines just repair. Marines <laughs> repair. That's, that, that's that that that's very expensive. But that's kind of what I ended up doing is just repair and Raven seeker missile nukes is what I did on other oh. missile command ones. And on this can... one, I used marines. On this one, I use on this map, I use marines. On other missile Which command ones, I just said uh, P one. If you're not P1, you don't have enough Marines. P1 for bio? Yes. Uh, the, when I originally did the solo on this mutation was back when P1 was only bar Barracks. Only Barracks was able to work on P1 and uh. they buffed it. So it was like, I'm going to prove P1 has an application in life. How about um, and you? that application was making enough Marines that I could prove that, in fact, Nova's usable. Marines struggle to be usable. How about you? They struggle I, to be I, usable. I, I... Oh. How about you? I, I thought it was this was easy. I, I did the P1 bio and I just patrolled Marines at each base and I had and I had ghosts as ghosts and Nova on the attack. Was it, then, no, I did it too. Was it enemy race dependent though? Was it enemy composition dependent? Or does it does it apply to any 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 any, any enemy? Probably AI? Zerg is easier. 
Yeah, it'd be a little ghost. bit of, against mech units. It might be a little awkward. Full disclosure, even then, I haven't even played, then. Full disclosure, I haven't played Vega here, but uh, what I would do here is just I'll use all my middles for repair, and with the gas, I'll go uh, first prestige soldier fortune and go mass ravens and liberators for offense. Mm -hmm. I just yeah, use my middles for how, defense and repair. That's how I do it. That's how I do it since now P1 now works on air units. But uh, also the other thing I would note, um, yeah. Remember, of course, that Nova's Ghosts uh, can actually sort of snipe mechanical units because if you get the triple tap snipe, then the first target has to be biological, but for the second and third shot of the triple tap, the game just forgets to check if the target has the biological tag. Nova, report that bug, please. <laughs> anyway, uh, so where do we where do we put Nova? Huh. I don't know. Now I that mean, I think when about I did it. This one, when I did this one, it was not too hard, but when I tried, like, I'm traumatized by having done nova against missile command mm -hmm. on other maps so it's hard for me to remember that this one was not that bad yeah, i just need a letter guys <laughs> i put her in b but now that i think about it she should be in c i actually agree c as well like she can do that mm -hmm. but it's more alarak is probably b no. <laughs> not quite as easy as abathur well if alarak's b then phoenix is down in d and that doesn't make sense and i'm still confused at sahawahan and horner are up there repair Anyways. same same thing as nova repair yeah she can repair push out good. i i think han and horner and nova mm. are kind of in in, in the sim not not the exact spot but in a similar spot in this one repair mm. for the uh the missiles and then push out with your special stuff literally we're looking at this with han and horner and nova are in c tier purely because a terran can't be below c tier against missile command yep that's one thing <laughs> also well um, for Phoenix, you need, like, I guess, multiple control groups. Han Horner, no, you have nothing on the offense. Everything is all call downs. So you don't really need control groups for anything. You, you might need, need a small group F2, of battle cruisers. Yeah. Okay, how about Rainer? I hit F2 to make my Reapers fly. How about Rainer? And that's it. Rainer, Rainer, Rainer. A. Rainer. He's, a, a. he's Terran. <laughs> he's Terran, no, literally. <laughs> Well, I guess Nova and Han and Nora aren't tired anymore. All right, let's A Raider. It's pretty straightforward. No, no, no we, we, we it's not just a. established the he, lowest that a Terran can be is C here, and Han and Horner and Nova are the lowest Terrans in this situation. Anyways, I Marines. would say Raider's A. Why do you say he's not A? What really? Who's who's not who's saying not two, two A? Said he, two two said he's not A. Unless not you a? unless you Spider Mine camp unless you know how to Spider Man Spider Mine camp the the waves and the timings and everything. You're gonna fight the missiles with no problem, but you're gonna have trouble with the hardened will. How many orbitals and, did you make? Uh, I used P3. I had no trouble. I'm just saying, mm. for others might not who are who don't have enough marines and stuff. I use battle cruisers. Make so. 14 orbitals, and your problems will die, as will all your marines. But I don't that's think not the marines. Important. Yeah, I don't think marines even feel. I don't think marines even feel hardened will. They do nine damage at most, right? No, but then the inspiration will rip them apart. Inspiration is a problem because it gives plus uh, three armor. True. Inspiration gives plus three armor. So your marines are going to get kind of massacred. But that's against true. most comps, they should be able to hold out. And here's the, here's the bigger thing. Um, that's only really a problem for soloing. Because if you have an ally, all your ally has to do is at all show up to the hybrid fights. And you should be fine. Because, like, hybrid fights being weak on hybrid fights is like the least threatening thing to be weak on in duos because literally all your ally has to do is f2 a click there so no matter how potato your ally is if they have just the wherewithal to realize that the hybrid exists and attack move their units and they yeah, have more than one unit they'll be fine then you'll be fine that being said, though, you you are right. That inspiration does do damage. Does, does do a lot of damage to Raider's bio. So maybe knock him back down painful. to B. Yeah, maybe All knock right. him back um, down to B. Not quite. I, I think B is fair because like it's not quite yeah. not, not, not 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 quite as bad as like these guys in C. Not quite okay. A level either. I I'm, I'm looking at him compared to Avatar, and I'm like, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, he should be higher than Avatar. Oh well. Oh, we can do the, we can do this. There we go. Okay, sure. Stat boy. Uh, D. He can that still repair. Maybe. Though. He can yeah, still he repair. He can still repair, 
but he can't shoot down missiles like at all. Does he need and, and to nukes. shoot the missiles? Uh, he can shoot. So, he can chase missiles with Super Gary, and yeah, then do the rest of the game with, the, with Raptors. Infestors, probably. I think he's Infestors also work. Yeah, I think he's B. Oh, because, the Corruptor spell ignores point defense drone, doesn't it? I think it's B because he can re do repair. He can chase the uh, the missiles with, with Gary, he's not B. and then he can he's just not use B. Infestors to clear the having, map. Having having no way of shooting down missiles. I mean, repair. Your repair, your repair is so expensive, though. But you're using Good minerals, expensive. which you don't really need. Yeah, you don't need okay, minerals. Okay, that's true. Because you, you don't just... spend minerals because you're just using infestors. Okay, you know what? B, right? How about yeah. you, Tutu? At least B. I put an A, but B, a? I think I can see. I, I thought he was, I, I thought it was really easy. Yeah. So. Okay, it yeah. Sounds, it sounds so simple. I don't simple. know. I maybe, I'm, uh, I'm underestimating repair. Okay. Repair is really Gary good. OP. Repair is really good. Gary um, can't attack. Okay, because, let's well, put him, 15 minutes. Gary let's put him attack. in B for now. But if if we Actually, look at it later again, uh, we can we can promote him to A. If no one else is in A, we can promote him to A. If, oh, there's well, going to be more people in A, but uh, oh yeah. yeah, I think he's going to get promoted to A. Honestly, Stefan okay. is probably Stukov is S, right? Stukov has to be yes. S. Yes, S. he is absolutely S. There's okay, no, no, no questions agreement. asked. Everyone knows S. this. Just in case you're new to the channel. Stukov is S because bunkers have hit scan. They'll shoot down missiles like it's nobody's business, and they'll they they are their own offense. They send the the troopers to the enemy's face and then shut them down. They just have so many marines that the missiles Plus, are gonna look like a joke. There Plus, they automatically accidentally end up spreading themselves out. Yeah. Okay, uh, Swan. Uh. A. Yeah, he a. doesn't fit an S, so we're gonna put him in A. Still pretty good. He, his auto repair. Same, and this repair is free. Same, his repair is free. The same lot. Yeah, this repair is free. That's a huge deal. The same deal as Mengsk. He doesn't fit in S, so we'll put him in A. Only because we only can fit two guys in S is what we're saying here. Well, if assuming the, assuming there are no restrictions on S, I, th I still think that um, Stukov... Swan, are, Swan uh, would be S. Swan would be S? I don't think Swan has quite Swan the, uh, be S. the ease of offense that Swan, uh, that, that Stukov and Karax have, because Karax is just space lasers, and Stukov mm. is just Siamitter. One button. Yeah, one button. Yeah. Like, Swan yeah. is great at defense. Swan has to work. But, okay. Swan has to work, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you don't have to work hard, but and Arcturus you have has to actually to make units, I guess. Yes, makes just, or Stukov just has to exist. Kind of. And... Carax just has to it's a point and click adventure. Okay. If you um, have if you have a touch screen on your computer, it can literally become tap the hybrid to kill them. Either way, A is still good. I, I see I see some comments sometimes claiming that we mistreated someone by putting them in A tier. Um, <laughs> anyway, A is still good, guys. A is really good. S tier is just a highly exclusive club. Yeah. It's like it's like a tier is for billionaires, and S tier is for hundred billionaires. Like you, you can hardly notice a difference between, like they're so good that they're just really the top. And uh, just because someone's an A, it's not an insult. A is still really good. Tychus, where do we put him? B. B. I put him in B. B. He has hit skin uh, no defense. He still has repair. He still has. He still has repair. He still has repair, and his static defense is hit scan. This is such a weird. I concept. should really use it. I should really use those. <laughs> right. Uh, anyway, you don't have to use them. Uh, you can. You don't if have Swan to. If Swan is uh, A, I think Tigus can also be A. Because Swan, like uh, Tigus, yeah. I think um, Tigus can be A here. Maybe because no. he's Terran. Yes, I still think B. Just because if you do use the static defense, it's really expensive, and if you don't, you just have to make sure you have an outlaw. Yeah, I home, guess. Which... Uh, I guess it's I well, guess not quite A because like you still well, have to spend money on both. How many pubs have you seen using Lone Wolf correctly? Oh, I don't see pubs using Lone Wolf because I'm the I'm usually the one the Lone Wolf guy. <laughs> uh, anyway, well, so, also he's a lot. Go ahead. Uh, a lot like uh, busier than Swan. Swan, you just kind of sit there. Yeah. Wait for your cooldowns. I guess that's fair. The, the closest thing, the closest thing I've seen to a random play ally I got playing Lone Wolf correctly was 
he got Nikara. He trapped Nikara in a, in a couple of buildings, and he had Tychus would run back to Nikara when he needed hit points, and other than that, Tychus would be off on his own doing lone wolf things. That's hilarious. Anyway, with this, with this, uh, with, with, okay, so where do we put Tychus? B or A? B. 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 So, would this drastically change if you didn't have any prestige? By the way, for Karax, as long as you have a prestige, you should be fine. For Stukov, if you have the third prestige, great. If you don't have any prestige, also great. Because bunkers are still bunkers. Zero, yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. for Tychus, how about uh, Tychus? Um, if, if you, you're not... Too, if, you're use, if you know how to use Lone Wolf and you use Lone Wolf, then he's an A-tier commander. But if you know how to use Lone Wolf, then you can use any prestige and make him A-tier because just, it just means you know how to work him. You just leave so he's... outlaws at home to defend the missiles while having other outlaws clear. So we're saying he's A? Lone Wolf just makes that easier. I'm saying if you it, the problem is like if you know how to use Lone Wolf, and I'm saying how many of our viewers you know how to use Lone Wolf? Probably a small sliver. I think you're being mean to my viewers. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I, I love you guys. Don't 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 stop watching the video, please. <laughs> please leave your comments down below, please. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I, I, I mean, maybe maybe I'm wrong. They need to all they need to all we need the, all the comments of people saying I use Lone Wolf and I actually know how to spread out my outlaws. All right, don't just f two with Lone Wolf and have absolutely no benefit from the prestige whatsoever. So what what do you say? Uh, what do you say? Hundreds two, two. of people out there who do that. What do you say, two two? Um, a, a or not A or B or something. Uh... I have two other candidates for A, so I'm going to put him in B. Okay, but so actually, one of them. There's yeah, three okay. left. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Put him in, put him in B. Good point. All right. Okay, Vorzun. 2-2, uh, two, two, Vorzun. I, I originally put her in A, but I'm not sure no, because she of fit. the other one. Because what? Just, she uh, but, but, so, so the Corsairs are really good. Patrolling mm -hmm. Corsairs. It's kind of the same as Destroyers, except she has even stronger calldowns to clear the middle and clear the hybrids. You time yeah. stop, kill everything. Time stop. So. And Corsairs are just better than Destroyers for shooting down missiles. They're faster. Also, they have better missile DPS. if you get hit, you're unless except for the Dark Pylon, everything else gets healed quickly, right? Yeah, because, mm -hmm. because yeah. of the, the shield, extra shield. Because of the shield regeneration for cloaking. <laughs> and if your Corsair dies, it revives. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, Forzun is just so A. Than Alarak. Uh, not A, not A, because you see, out of these three commanders, there's one commander who's clearly better than Forzun. It's not my fault, guys. It's not my fault. <laughs> Where do we put Forzun? B. You say you you guys are saying Forzun's B. B. Okay, B. We're gonna be we're gonna be making some demotions soon here. Anyways, put her in B. It's B for now. B for now. B right. for now. How about Zagara? F. F. Because yep. F. She, she only has spores. If you if you make scourge versus missiles, that'd be really expensive, and you'll have nothing else. No, for... Not only that, if you make scourge at all, the scourge are going to want to attack the missiles, despite your wishes. And so your Scourge are just going to be desperately trying to expend themselves on missiles all game long, and so you're just going to be banned from having convenient anti-air. So you'll just That's be what I did for the last one, but and it worked. But this one, it didn't work for Missile Command. <laughs> uh, this is where I learned that you can run spores, because I filled a lot of them, and oh. they were getting targeted, so I had to run, ah. and the mute followed me. Oh, no. oh, I need to do no. that. I need to, I need to do that. Yeah, it's a car that sounds F. funny enough. It's a car F. It All right. So, by, by the way, horror. so for Zagara can use bio launchers to target the nukes, but it's really hard. It's really hard. And hard yeah, you, I, I really don't advise it. And she sucks at pushing. She's not that strong against the hybrids either. So that's why Ooh, she's F. She just has nothing going for her. Her Bane oh, well. can't even kill the hybrid properly because of hardened will. Okay, so Anyways, uh, Zertul. A. 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 Yeah, monoliths, a. monoliths, cannons. Big monolith. What I, what I actually Big did monolith. for Zertul? What I actually did for Zertul here? If you if you guys uh, watch my video, is that I, did, I used uh, mass uh, shield guards because yes. they're hit scan. 
mm-hmm. they're pretty good and then mm-hmm. i just use zora legion which was even yeah. which is actually the wrong legion we i got bio mm-hmm. and i and i use zori anyway you should have gone Talbris. <laughs> yeah but i i had to choose my legion before i i saw the enemy come you, and i chose you I don't chose have to but... yeah i, I did uh, were you were you p2 <laughs> Uh, I don't think I use a prestige. Because mm, I was about to say, it, while P2, then Telbris. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just used uh, Legion and Shield Guard. It was, it was a pretty fun time. A yeah, couple models in my base. Alright, so A. Alright, so do we demote someone to D tier? D tier is looking very lonely. Yep. Uh... Or do we say in a vacuum? This looks fair enough. Or do we promote someone to A? Do we demote someone to C? Like, I just hot and horror feels so bad, but maybe I'm just having a lack of confidence in their top bar. Okay, I think I have a lack of confidence in their top bar, and that's all. You say okay. hot and horror should be low, as low as D. Yeah, because it's like yeah, they can defend the missiles. I I can I can kind of see your point. I, I, I no, don't think... can't defend the missiles. They can just repair the missiles, which means that they're going to be expensing more and more and more money into that and they have gas intensive buildings because they have their strike pl- fighter platforms which are highly gas intensive so that's going to be even more repair costs in gas and shooting down nukes is awkward and requires manual lifting off of reapers yeah. and clearing the hybrid you can top bar sure although the top bar alone isn't sufficient to clear the hybrid so i'm not sure how you're going to finish them off aside from either units or your ally, and it's going to be like, awkward reaching them because you can't clear the rest of the map because your top bar cooldowns only come off cooldown oh, and you're, about as often as I the use P3. spawn. Yeah, I use P3. I yeah, have 30 you, strike fighters. I would 100% <laughs> use P3. Oh, by the way, that's another thing. You have to use you know what happens? You know what happens when I use Hon and Horner P3 against Missile Command? The point defense drones shoot down the strike fighter shots. <laughs> that's sad. All right. You you seem to have PDDs everywhere all the time. Everywhere all the time. <laughs> all right, Most all right. importantly, I, I think it's actually just, it's not that they're everywhere all the time. It's just that 90% of the PDDs carefully focused to all be directly over the defenses I'm trying to attack. Okay, I do we... have an argument for Han Horner D, which is that if the enemy is not in your favor, you also have struggle. That's yeah. the other thing. All right, so I, and the hybrid. I don't have I'm any Horner. objections to D. So that's fine for me as well. How about the others? Do we move anyone else? Sorry, Han and Horner, you have failed your Terran legacy. How how about the others? Do we have any do we have any promotions or devotions to go for them? I think Kerrigan is the most uh, likely for a demotion, isn't she? Do we have to demote? I don't think Kerrigan. I think I someone think should go to, to A. No. Okay, who do we? Uh, who do you think should go to A? I think Avatar is great, Avatar but. Is great. Uh, the because he can also heal. That's his repair. Yeah, but mm-hmm. <laughs> also heal. But like, you don't want to use it too much because like, you still, you yeah, still you're not using it. Pretty great. You're not using it to heal buildings, but that's just an extra. But, yeah, but byproduct. Jimmy. But Jimmy. or I guess you can also have you can also have like a lot of queens in your base for the mass transfuse. That might also work. Am I expecting too much to say that people can just? build 14 orbitals, build 20 barracks, and hold down the A key. Well, That's, you, we already established... Yeah, get to that point. We already established that uh, even even with max out marines, you can, you can still get murdered by inspiration, so... But... but the, it, yeah, that's why you keep dropping marines during the fight. And also... It's not F tier. It is the literal least thing you could possibly expect but from your ally because the base, the defenses, the defenses are nothing. The missiles, you could defend your ally and yourself. But counterpoint, Rainer will never be above Tychus. Counterpoint. Okay. This is a humane. <laughs> that sounds. That's that, yeah. that's a humane. And he does. I I think Rainer does well. It's just that the other ones in B are even better than him. Yeah, that's what uh, I'm thinking. Okay, I, I, okay. All right. I, I we'll, we'll, I guess we'll just call this good enough in a vacuum. Good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. All right, that's fair. It's a, it's Do a we... slightly crooked bell curve. It's fine. Well, we can still bell, bell curve five. We can put down a couple commanders down to see who are the worst among the bees. Hmm. Hmm.
But Batman. What is this like? Assuming some other things, like you can't use them or something, or what? Like, uh, uh, yeah, what, why? This, this, you have to honestly, push them down. If we if we wanted to make it a nice even bell curve, but here's yeah. here's the concern I have right now. It's really hard to differentiate between the B tier because it's basically just all of them are just. So which skills do you have versus don't you have? Basically, all five commanders in B tier, except probably Vorazun, have, well, except maybe Vorazun, have something in common. And that something in common is each of them expects you to have a different one or two skills before they will function. But if you have those skills, it's easy. Okay, how about this? How about we rank... The commanders, and then we'll see if we can build Kerbify to, to have more guys in the sea. Or S, who's better? Oh, Character Stukov. Stukov. Stukov, yeah. No, no, no objections there. Stukov is the number one. For A, who's the best between Arcturus? Uh, Zerto has to be the best between them, right? Yeah. Yep. Zerto well, is the best. Zerto has a lot more offensive power. Zeratul, then Zeratul, then Manx, then Swan. Why why Arcturus over Swan? Because he has the more offensive explode. power. Yeah. <laughs> because more offensive power. And also, I mean, Concentrated Beam is amazing uh, on this map, by the way. Concentrated Beam, beam, concentrate beam is, is great. Amazing. Yes. Um, laser it. Drill. Laser Drill can target down nukes from anywhere. That you, as long as you have vision of the nuke, you can target down with Laser You can drill. clear the whole Chain of Ascension battlefield. You can clear the whole Rakshir battlefield in three, uh, in three Concentrated Beams or something. It's really, it's really great. Uh, but also, Manx's missile defense is cheaper. It's literally just cheaper. Swans is free. free. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you just repair, which it's free. well, it auto repairs. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, auto repair. That's true. But uh, here's the thing. Then you're assuming that you're just going to be making a bunch of SCVs, and you know what? The number of SCVs you make. At best, I feel like that's going to be the same cost as Manx Bunkers because Manx really does, barely needs any bunkers to I defend guess. Missile Command. Yeah, I guess. I, I think guess... Swan has less room for error. Yeah. 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 And offense, offense wise, uh, you have to aim your concentrated beam properly and then you have to mm -hmm. micro your either her tank yeah. or rates or stores. You have or to build a hundred, build a hundred he... factories. And and one of these commanders has to figure out how to kill the hybrid. The other one uh, atomizes them. All right, all right. We'll call we'll call we'll call uh, we'll call it Zertul, the Arcturus, this one. All right, that's fair. All right, for B, who is the best among the B? It's the same problem as before. It's like uh... each of them assumes completely different skills, and it's just like, which skills do you have? Because I feel that'll like I'll tell you which of these commanders will be easy and the rest will be hard. This one, even if you suck with Abathur, by the time you need his Brutalist, you'll have him. And then yeah, you just burl, I think burl swarm holes elsewhere. Abathur is probably the best of the bees. Right? Then probably. You think that Tykes is better than Jimmy? Well, Tutu explicitly said that Tykes. Well, Raider will never be above Tychus. I don't think so, but honestly, I feel like that's just guess... literally a matter of... I mean, Rainer, Rainer can still use F2, he just has to know how to macro. Tychus doesn't have to know how to macro, he just has to know how to not use F2. Tychus can clear the middle alone. Well, without, well, without prestige. With a nuke. Without prestige, you can still, you can still, you know, use, you can still F2 with Tychus. He's still pretty good. Mm. You don't it even know clears what... the map a lot more easily than Rainer does. Yeah, I can I can yeah. see that. Okay, I guess we could so... see Tykes above Rainer. We could okay. also we could also just we could also just assume P one Rainer and put him down in E tier. Uh, anyways, <laughs> why no, would you do no, that to yourself? <laughs> that's an exaggeration, but yeah, don't use P one Rainer. <laughs> can we demote anyone down to C between the la between these three, Rainer, that boy, and Vorzun? Statman? Statman has some trouble if you don't use corruptors or infestors against the nukes. Or if you're not like so a lot, some moving people, Gary. Some people don't use uh, infestors just because they, they are afraid of lag. 
So what That's do, not do we... a game problem. Yeah. It's, it's like a, well, a computer problem. That's, but you know what actually might be a problem? It's like, good news, I have a counter to nukes. Unfortunately, Stepman has no like automatic counter to nukes. He, he has to manually activate an anti-air ability. That is true. And if you are having one frame every five seconds, that might make it a little difficult. That is true. He has to manually stop the nukes, whereas the other ones, you can just leave stuff around. I have a third mm -hmm. kind of two, but you just deep tunnel one brutalist. If you have enough, if you have enough swarm hosts, you don't even have to do it. Manually. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Literally, Stepman is the only one of those four who has to defend nukes manually. That is true. So Stepman gets demoted. I can agree with that. All right, but we'll put Stepman the best among the seas. Yeah, I mean, best among the seas because like he can heal. He can heal. I mean, so can Kerrigan. And he can repair. He can repair. Yeah. Sorry, Stead Boy. You're, you'll be uh, you'll be among. Well, it's not bad company. Nova, Aura, Kerrigan, not bad company at all. Mm. It's still pretty decent. But like, well, well, you're just here. You're just in seats here because you have to. St Stop looking at me like that, Stead Boy. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> you're just in seats here just because we have to put someone. All right. And look at the guys above you. I don't want to get Abathur angry with me. No, I'm sorry. You had to, you had to be in seats here, Seth boy. I'm sorry. All right. So, hey, you really don't want Tykes angry at you. He already looks angry. <laughs> he already looks angry. All right. So between Kerrigan, Alarak, and Nova, who is the best among the, th the three? I think it's still right. Kerrigan, right? We already agreed that Kerrigan is already the best among the seas beforehand. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Because, like, yeah, the Omega, the omega spam. And Kerrigan can I, solo. I used P1, actually. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? What? I used P1. Why would you do that to remember, yourself? Remember, remember, yeah, remember when we tr when I tried the P1 yeah. on the the void launch, watch the skies. Yeah. I learned something, you know so what? I I used that. You know what? I can see it. The run just sports. because the extra attack, the ex no, because the extra attack speed on the Hydralis and uh, Queens, it's extra attack speed, which means it's extra chewing through point defense drone ammunition. So I can yes. see it. I can see it. It was very good. I can see it. It worked I, very I, well. It's very good, but like for the like the top ten percent of players, for players like me, I just rapid fire. Oh, I mean, if you're using P1 Kerrigan, then you're looking at then why is she better than Phoenix? Because it's literally just a more expensive. It's it's just more expensive mass unit defense than what. Yeah, that's Kerrigan why I put both of them at D. Hmm. I put them equally because of this for this reason. <laughs> but the uh, the worm is just. But easier. I looked at P two and easier. just said Kerrigan P two just deletes everything. Yeah, <laughs> guys, I have a, I have an, I have a, an argument to push Vorazun ahead of Tigus and Rainer. You want to hear it? Mm -hmm. All right. You have Dark Pylon, and if your ally is AFK. Or refusing to push, <laughs> refusing to push Jinara into the pit, or Jinara and, and her Amos champion into the pit. You can dark pile and or you can dark pile and recall like an overlord, mm -hmm. a worker, something from your ally. You can so you can actually solo with Vorazun, Is what I'm saying. Yes. The, the pylon will disappear in a moment, but it will do the job. It'll do the job, right? With little. that, with that, would you guys say that just because Vorazun can actually solo? With an actually AFK ally. <laughs> if she's, if your AF, if the allies AFK, the buildings will die before you push. I mean, not if you're Stukov. No, no, no. no, no. You <laughs> oh, recall, you recall a worker, you recall a uh, worker into the into into the onto Janara, and then you grab your army, you get your whole army behind the worker, and then you start pushing, physically pushing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that, that, that was kind of silly, but. That was that. That's just a food for thought. You can force your ally to end the game if you're Vorzun. Whereas N Rainer, Tychus are both susceptible to griefing. Abathur can also force his ally to uh, cooperate by abducting. <laughs> well, we, maybe we should put Abathur and Vorzun in their own tiers. The tier of you can actually make this a soloable game <laughs> because you can. Grab your ally against their will. 
Mm-hmm. That being said, how about yeah, Nova can also do that. Grab your ally against their own will. And Phoenix. Six, I think. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, that was that was kind of a joke. Anyway, so uh between Alarach and Nova, who's better? Alarach. Alarach. Because of the uh Yeah. Patrol. Well, he destroy destroyers are better than covert marines. <laughs> Repaired though. <laughs> Destroyers are too much better than elite marines. All right, all right. I, I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just concede Alarak better than Nova for this one. And because it's a Rakshir map, so Alarak has own court advantage, so he gets the he gets the advantage. There we go. Between Phoenix and Hot and Horner, who's better? Phoenix is more flexible. Yeah, and Phoenix I guess has stuff. Phoenix I guess has more straightforward pushing power. Like for some, for for your ally, maybe seeing Hot and Horner like bomb an air bomb an enemy base, you wouldn't actually know when to attack. But when you see when you physically see uh like Kaldalas and the and the boys going into the enemy base, that's a clear signal to attack, which I think makes it more intuitive for to have a Phoenix in the team than a Hot and Horner. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Repair though. <laughs> my model this my model this video is repair though. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, all right, all right, uh, fine. Let's, shields though. Shields though, but you can't shield your ally. Oh, conservators. Do conservators work against missiles? Uh, well, they don't work on buildings, so it. I mean, uh, yes, but actually no. Because oh, wow. they work against the splitter missile thing, and they can shoot down missiles because they're hit scan, and they technically would reduce damage from nuke missiles. Now that but you mention that it, why very... not conservator defense against missiles? They, they are hit scan after all. They carriers, carriers are carriers are better per supply. All right, all right, fair enough. So yeah, uh, yeah, Phoenix is actually better than Hot and Horner, just because like without mutators, Phoenix is better than Hot and Horner. So for... Meanwhile, Zeratul just like, what if my sentries cost half as much supply and had, like, what is it, four times the DPS? <laughs> anyway, uh, Artanis, Artanis versus Dahaka. Who's better? Artanis, Artanis, Artanis. is less suffering. Artanis yeah. is better? Or Dahaka is better? Artanis, Artanis is better. better. Artanis is better. Oh, you said the unison. You should be, you should be like, a, a band or something. <laughs> Artanis mm. is better because... The other because, one's worse. The other one's worse. <laughs> because, because missiles are missiles are painful for Artanis. But it's very hard to match just how painful they are for Dahaka. Right. Only Zagara manages to be as bad against missiles as Dahaka. And here's the thing. Zagara manages to be as bad against missiles as Dahaka. The other like the two worst people for missiles are Zagara and Dahaka. And then Zagara also manages to be one of the worst at pushing. Possibly like right there with like you know, I think she's worse than Swan. I think she's worse than or pushing solo pushing. Everyone with an with an ally, Zagaris. Zagaris is uh, pretty decent at pushing. I would say it's Remember, the same. So so here's the problem. You know, you you say I have banelings, and the and Amon says I have hardened will, and your banelings say I do two damage now. <laughs> well, hardened will only applies to the hybrid, and most of the areas you actually push into are like bases. Okay. Okay. How does Zagara kill the hybrid? Ever. No, you actually camp the spot with banelings, so when they spawn, they all die. Before the mm-hmm. hybrids. Before the well, escort spawns. Uh, the the hybrid escort first. spawns. Oh, wait, the escort spawns first? They, I, the, regardless of which one spawns first, I killed them by putting the banelings on yeah. the spot that they appeared. So basically, and only you the have, fat hybrids you have, left. Use, you have to use the Jimmy solution of spider mines. Except so yeah. Jimmy at least has the option of Marines and at least has good missile defense. The guard, it's like you don't have the option of anything else. You just have to do that with your banelings if you want to ever kill the hybrid. And also you have the worst missile defense in the game, and you're just bad at literally everything. Oh well. Mm-hmm. I think I think this is I think this tier list is fine the way it is. Yeah, the rankings I think it's pretty correct. They're ordered pretty much uh, fairly enough. We so, did yeah, it. That is the ranking for this week. Um, next week. It'll be Wheel of Stupid. I wonder if we'll do that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Watch Sticksbender and Tutu's channels. I will link them down below. See you guys.